My name is Timmy Toucan, and I will be the rule maker for the game of Canyon Explorers today. I am glad that you all wish to play my favorite game. Today, we have two animals seeking the canyon's finest treasures. Those two animals are the mighty polar bear and the always hungry panda bear. If you take a look in the bottom right corner of the screen, you will see Marco the monkey hanging out by the treasure. The game of Canyon Explorers is simple. The first animal to reach the treasure is the winner. However, the path to the treasure won't be so easy. As you can see, each cloud, hot air balloon, tightrope flag, boat, and rock has a number on it. All of the things with numbers on them are the spots that we move across in the game to get the treasure. Before each turn, I will show you two pictures that have our target speech sound in them. Ask your speech teacher or parent if they want you to say the word by itself or use it in a phrase or sentence. Once you do an awesome job with your speech sounds, Marco the monkey will show you a card with how many spaces you should move. After Marco the monkey shows you the number card, your player will automatically move that many spaces to the correct spot. It is important to be careful because the canyon does not want to lose its treasures, so the canyon might pull tricks on you like making clouds disappear, making hot air balloons rise into the sky, or maybe even make some of those green turtles, ugh, I mean rocks sink or swim away. Now, it's time to pick your characters. The youngest player gets to pick whether they want to be the polar bear or the panda bear. Pause the video if you need time selecting, and then press play when you're ready to start the game. All right, now that we have the characters selected, let's get this game started. As Polar Bear and Panda Bear move towards the treasure, I will fly next to them to let them know if they landed on any special spaces. These special spaces might help us move towards the treasure faster, or they might end up slowing us down. Without further ado, let's do this. Polar Bear, you are up first. I'm about to show you your first two cards. Awesome job! Let's see what number Mr. Monkey is going to give you. Wow! Mr. Monkey gave you the highest number you can get, a three. You might be wondering how you get across these clouds. Have no fear. After it rains, what do we see in the sky? Exactly. We can just use a rainbow bridge to get from cloud to cloud. Head all the way to number three, Polar Bear. Nice work, Polar Bear. You made it all the way to three. Now, Panda Bear, it is your turn to practice your sounds and then see how far you get to move. Are you ready? Here we go. You did an amazing job with your sounds. After this turn, unless you or Polar Bear lands on a special space, I won't be speaking as much. So make sure to really focus on the sounds you are working on. A quick hint before you move. As you may have noticed, your speech sounds are a different color in the word than the rest of the letters. Focus on the red letters as you look at the word so you can produce awesome speech sounds. Just like for Polar Bear, let's see what number Mr. Monkey gives you. All right, Panda Bear, it looks like you got a two. Head on over to the cloud with the number two on it. I think we understand the game now. Let's start to speed up this game a little bit. Polar Bear, you're up. Here's your two words. All right, Polar Bear, move over one space to number four. Ah, yikes. It looks like you landed on the cloud that loves to disappear sometimes. It's okay. You landed safely on top of the hot air balloon. Unfortunately, we will have to skip your next turn so we can get you down from there. Okay, Panda Bear, you get two turns in a row since Polar Bear is stuck on top of the hot air balloon for now. Nice! You get to move three spaces. Once you get to the last cloud, I'll have my friend bring you down to the next hot air balloon. He will also help you get across the rest of the hot air balloons. You're up again, Panda Bear. Here are your next speech words to practice.
Another three for Panda Bear. You're going to be to the treasure in no time. Whoopsies. I think I may have jinxed you, Panda Bear. It looks like your hot air balloon is taking off into the air. Have no fear. The balloons have a mind of their own, but they always return. You will miss your next turn, Polar Bear. It is now your turn. All right, Polar Bear, you got a two. Don't worry, the plane is coming to rescue you and bring you two spots forward. Polar Bear, you are up again. Here are your next words. A three for Polar Bear. You are the first player to reach the tightrope. Travel carefully along the rope over the canyon. Welcome back, Panda Bear. You are just in time for your turn. Here are your words. A three for Panda Bear. It looks like you get to head one spot in front of Polar Bear. Okay, Polar Bear, you're up. Let's see if you can pass Panda Bear. Nice work, Polar Bear. Move forward two spaces. It's okay, Panda. You can catch up on this turn. Here are your next words. Panda, it looks like you got a one. That means you and Polar Bear are tied on the same spot. Move up next to him. Uh-oh. Do you hear that? That sounds like an angry cloud is coming. Be careful. He might try to make you two fall off the tightrope. Whoa! That was crazy! I am glad you two are okay. In positive news, you two were able to skip ahead a few spaces. In not so positive news, you two landed on the monster's rock. The monster is a friend of mine, but he is also kind of grumpy, unless you have cookies or treats. Ugh, there he is. Good luck. Ah, two friends have landed on my rock island. You may not know, but in order to pass, I require 100 cookies as payment to cross my island. I accept chocolate chip and sugar cookies. What is that you say? You two do not have 100 cookies for payment? Well, okay. Since I am friends with your bird friend, I will make you a deal. If you both say 10 of your speech sound words as awesome as you can, I will let you pass for free. I am going to show you words with your speech sounds in them. Take turns saying the words. Once you have completed this task, I will let you two pass. And I guess I will have to make my own cookies. Awesome job making the monster happy. Hopefully he doesn't try to get to the treasure before you two. Let's continue on. Polar Bear, it is your turn. Here are your two words. Nice, Polar Bear. You got a three. If you run really fast, maybe you won't fall in the water. Move all the way to the last boat. Your turn, Panda.
Oh, nice. You are one boat behind Polar Bear. Let's see if you can roll all the way there. Your turn, Polar Bear. Let's hope for a big, big number. Panda is catching up to you. You got a one. Looks like you get to move to the first green rock. Or, uh, maybe it's a turtle. Either way, move one spot ahead. Okay, Panda Bear, here you go. Nice work, Panda Bear. It looks like you get to move to the same spot as Polar Bear. Well, hello there again, friends. I was just thinking about how I let you two pass my island by only saying your speech sound words and not by giving me cookies. But then I remembered that I heard something about treasure. What do you say I get the treasure instead of one of you, since I so nicely let you two pass? Oh, come on, monster. You know that is not fair. Polar bear and panda bear, I have an idea. That might be a green rock, or that might be a sleeping turtle that you are standing on. To wake up the turtle, if it is one, you two can both say three speech words each. I will show you six pictures. Take turns saying what you see, and let's see if we can wake up the turtle. Whoa! Do you feel it moving? I think you two woke up the turtle. Here, let me see if I can talk to him even though his head is still underwater. Mr. Turtle, can you please bring my two bear friends to the island over here? Welcome to Treasure Island Polar Bear and Panda Bear. It looks like you both got here at the same time. Looking at the treasure, I think there is more than enough to share. Maybe we can even give a little bit to Turtle and Monster. It has been a pleasure adventuring through this game with you. If you would still like more practice on your speech sounds, I'm going to show you 50 words that have your speech sounds in them. Thanks again for letting me join your journey today.
If you would like more free videos, games, downloadable activities, virtual materials, boom cards, and more, visit our website freeaslp.com.